Okay, it's time to redo the caulking in our bathtub. We moved in here a few years ago and it was like this. Just a real unprofessional uh, job. You can see when you focus in there that it's just smeared by a finger. It's all coming on undone. You can pull big pieces off. And the worst part is it looks like they went over some uh, darker color or dirty stuff. So we are going to go around the tub. You can probably tell I've got a couple of the girls, so that's why I want to clean it up. So I'll take all these toys out and use a uh, tool to start getting rid of all the old caulk. What you see is a little pro caulk tool. This tool is designed for getting rid of old caulk. It's got sharp edges on this side and a nice hand hold on this side. And this should uh, not scrape the tub or the tile because it is still a plastic piece. So we're going to use that to start ripping out all the old caulking. Stick it in there and pull. You can see having the right tool increase your speed and make the job a lot easier. Pull all this old stuff down. It's coming up pretty good. After I get all of the big pieces up, I'll be very careful and use a small razor blade and get the little pieces up. Then I'll scrub it with a, a wet, but not too wet, uh, scrubby. And then finally I'll, uh, I'll vacuum all the dust off of there. I'll be ready to recaulk. Probably got about 90% of the caulking, the old caulking off the tub. I used the uh, plastic tool that I got at Home Depot, a flat razor and a little scraping tool for the deep stuff. Next step is to use the vacuum cleaner's crevice tool to really get all the old loose grout and everything out of there before we make sure it's all dry. Now that I have about 95 plus percent of the grout removed, all the old uh, caulking that is, not grout, I'm going to clean up the entire area. Just Using a, some foam cleaner, this is good for non-abrasive and it kills mold and mildew. And I'll spray that on all the crevices and go over it just with your standard 3M type scratchy scrub pad. I'll give that a half hour or so to dry, maybe put a fan on it to expedite a little bit. And then uh, <clears throat> we'll get the new caulk. What I'm using is Red Devil Lifetime Ultra White Caulk. Takes a while, four to six hours, it's good enough to paint. We're not going to paint, but it should be ready to be wet within 72 hours. It is Friday night now, so we'll give it till uh, probably Monday morning showers. We're not going to put a great deal on it, just a little bit in the corner. To spread that, we're going to use these caulk uh, corner tools, which are really like a soft uh, rubber material that gives everything a professional look when it's all done. This entire set came with the removal tool and a couple different sets of uh, uh, different radius dimensioned uh, corner pieces and uh, it just makes the job a lot easier. Alright, I just used the spout cutter which is built into the handle of my caulking gun and I cut off the uh, tip of the uh, plastic nozzle here at the one quarter inch mark. There are increments written on the nozzle depending on the size of the bead. This particular caulking gun also has a puncture tool on the bottom. This puncture tool, you put it in the tip of the nozzle and it breaks the seal so you're ready to caulk. It's this simple. Hard to do with one hand holding the camera. There we go. Put it in there. Done with that. Okay. I've started laying the caulk down. Just going along the corner. Nice, steady, smooth rate of speed. Beat it up a little bit in the corner and come around. I gotta do this quick because I have to come around with the tool next to even it all out. I've got caulk all around the tub now, just a bead. 
I'm going to use the tool that I have. It's like a Rubbermaid soft piece. On this one I'm going to use the rounded SRD piece and uh, wet it slightly and run it along the edge to give me a nice finished look. I've also got paper towels ready. This caulk is water soluble which is why you have to let it completely dry before you use the shower or tub. So uh, if any mistakes are made I can quickly wipe it up with the uh, paper towels. Here it goes. The showers had a chance to dry overnight. What I wanted to show you is just the, uh, the bead that we were able to make with the uh, tool, the crevice tool, and a nice line of clean caulk. Total investment this time was about $14. That included a $10 tool set to uh, uh, scrape the old stuff out and to apply the new stuff plus the four dollar thing of caulk. So not bad, this should last a couple more years until we can renovate the bathroom.